Hello Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I'm going to take a look at your connection with you and your person. Remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate with everybody. If you'd like a personal reading, I'll leave that information in the description box below. So what is passing, Sagittarius? We have Hand of Cards, Take a Chance, Risk, Being Strategic, Options, Not Showing Hand and Gambling. What is this person's energy towards Sagittarius, the chaser, chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues, um, Sagittarius's energy towards this person, we have cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head, and in the near future, we have coffee cup, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted in friendship. What's the outcome? Date, meeting someone new, dating, get back out there, plan or set a date. Okay, so I'm seeing that in your past, you or somebody you could have been dealing with had options and was being really strategic about not letting the other person know because of fears of, of being left or abandoned. So yeah, lo the lovers, a decision between two lovers, two people. I'm seeing that you did meet this person and things kind of, um, you guys kind of hit it off really quickly. But definitely um, there was stagnation. Things were kind of at a stalemate when it had to do with making a choice and making a decision based on the heart over the head. And yeah, a, a period of pause and really thinking hard about what it is you're willing to sacrifice for this situation and you could be dealing with a gemini but i'm seeing that in the past things just kind of have not really moved in any type of direction there's just been some waiting and somebody also could have been feeling like they've been st strung along tell me about the chaser Two of Swords. Yeah, so th because this person is feeling like things are stagnated, they're still not able to get over you, but they're also not able to, to make a decision. They're really indecisive about what to do in this situation with you. But I see that they're looking for the clarity and they're really in their head about you. A lot of swords energy here. And they're, they're watching you. They're watching you or stalking you. But right now they're taking a break to think about whether or not they want to chase after this situation with you. They're starting to think about it. They're starting to um, think about also moving in a different direction here from what I'm seeing. But they're still at a stag. Uh, they're still stagnated, and they're still not really moving in any direction right now. But they know that. It has to happen soon to make this this offer I do see that they want to they want to give you an offer here and they want to give you something that's valuable and something that's worth your time and energy and I'm seeing that this person has a tendency to be a chaser to chase after people and they are not wanting to repeat these same mistakes that they've done in the past. Tell me about Cassette. So, 
you could have earth in your chart capricorn virgo taurus or maybe that's your person but i'm seeing that you are replaying a situation in your head that left you feeling unfulfilled before so you're thinking about whether or not you should be with this person i'm i do see that feelings are are starting to grow for them you you care about them but you're now starting to replay certain things in your head and i feel like there's a part of you that also has these abandonment issues that kind of mirrors this person so you two are both kind of mirroring each other in a sense i'm seeing that something about your past which could could have involved three people somebody darker than you or more tan it caused some emotional blockages in situation that needs to needs to be healed but i do see that you're willing to to work on this and choose this person tell me about coffee cup i see a communication happening between you guys eight of wands and i'm seeing that this is kind of like cupid's arrow coming in and this could also be travel involved you guys are gonna end up seeing each other face to face even but there's gonna be very passionate communication and things are are gonna move from a stalemate to really quick changes and there's gonna be a lot of movement I'm also seeing so you're gonna feel more peace inner peace in this situation here because you guys are going to end up meeting each other maybe for coffee. But you're going to have a conversation that's going to be filled with passion. And it's going to it's going to end up hitting somebody, these Cupid arrows. And I'm seeing that this passionate conversation is going to end up leading to movement in a direction that is going to be more stable and this could also be higher levels of commitment but i'm seeing a reconciliation also you guys are going to end up being reunited and this conversation is also going to be a little bit stressful because there's there was a part where things have been really really slow and it's like where is all of this coming from Tell me about date. But I'm seeing somebody new coming into your life. Also, I'm seeing that not only is this person, um, are you going to see this person and things are going to be very passionate, but there's going to be somebody else coming into your life who could be an air sign, Libra, Aries, uh, not Aries, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, maybe Aries, since I said it. And... This could be at work that you meet this person. And this is somebody who's going to be really, really intelligent and smart. But I feel like for some of you, you may end up just rejecting this person because you already have feelings for somebody else. But people are, I'm saying you have options or you're going to have options or whether you know it or not, you do. Or if you put yourself out there, you will. Let's get some more information. So, yeah, in the past, somebody was cold or detached from their feelings. Because they weren't in a place to really make a decision at that time this person that you're dealing with could be a young male you or this person could be older or younger than each other um i'm seeing that you're thinking about 
the last time you saw this person possibly tra or traveled there could be distance between you guys but ultimately in your near future you're gonna end up communicating with this person a lot of communication a consistent communication and in your outcome there's gonna be a destined meeting uh fate and it's gonna really open up your eyes to a situation this person that's gonna come into your life is going to trigger something in you that i feel like it doesn't even have to do anything with love but it's going to trigger some some type of awakening your realization about a certain situation in your life it was destined for you to meet this person i'm seeing a diamond if that resonates with anybody Is there anything else that we should know? Helpful people. So people are coming into your life in order to bring you uh, to bring you stability and help if needed. A lot of uh, spirit guides or the divine God, whatever it is that you believe in, is this is they're coming in to put you on your path. To destiny to really help you out and things are going to end up balancing themselves out with compromise so definitely i see a decision being made you're ready this is what i'm getting for you guys if you like this reading please comment like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be updated for future videos let me know if it resonated and i hope that you found some guidance and clarity in your situation thank you for watching bye